Hello, I am Austin, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a mini Lego ATRT. Since this ATRT has a lot of parts, we are going to do it in three different parts, or two different parts, either or. Um, first, we're going to start with the top part, and then we're going to go move on to the legs. So you will want to watch the entire video to find out how to fully do it. Let's start off with the first part. Here are the pieces you will need for the first part. You will need this wheel cover piece, um, 2x4, two, two of these faucet pieces, sink faucet pieces, two of those, and you will need this 2x1, this round 2x1 with a hole in the middle. A chair. Just a chair. One lone chair. Then you'll need this axle piece that is common on many car, um, Lego cars. Only one. Then you'll need this stick that's about two inches long, I'd say. Maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. This is it compared to my fingertip. So you only need one of those. Next you will need this 2x2 two two with a hole in the bottom. <laughs> with a hole in the bottom, like that. 2x2. Two two. One of those. You will need this arm that was on 21B from 2010. Only one. You will need this baggage piece. That could be a baggage thing. One of those. You will need. You will need one of these two by one pieces with one stud on top. A two by two piece in the shape of a square. And finally, this slanted piece that I can't really describe for you. It's just a slanted piece, two by two, with two studs on top. And that's the all the pieces we need for our first section. Let's get started. I'm really sorry about this technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. What you want you will want to start off with is this wheel cover. You will take your 2x1 with one stud on top and put it on the front of it as shown. Like that. And then you take your 2x2 two two with the hole in the bottom and stick it on top of that. And then take your slanted piece and put it on that. It should look like this. And now you're going to take your faucets. I need to get my faucets. Wait a second. Hey there. Sorry about that. You will take your faucets and stick them on here. Like that. And then take your round 2x2 two two and put it on the bottom. Like that. And then your axles on top of that. And then your chair on top of that. So it should look like this when you're done formulating the top. Then take this square 2x2 two two and stick it on the back.
and then take this baggage piece and stick it on the back of that. Take this arm, put it on here. And then finally, take your stick and put it on the back of that. Bend it over a little bit like that. So, it's like an antenna. Or wait, I thought of an even better idea. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Sorry about that. So that's your top part. Or it could be like... Yeah, that's okay. Let's move on to the second section and put that aside. Here are the pieces you'll need for the section. Set, uh, <laughs> second section. I'm tongue-tied again today. Sorry. I will give you one minute to get ready. Minutes up. A little bit short. Sorry. Here is what you will need. First off, you will need two regular round studs. Two of those. Then take four of these clip pieces that you clip things onto and put them in your little stockpile. Four of them. And then take two of these uh, zip line possibly pieces. Two of them. And collect those to use for your ATRT. Two of those. Then you will need two more of these 2 by ones with the stud on top. You will need two of these slanted 1 by ones Two 1 by one clips. Two of those. One lightsaber hilt. Common in any Jedi set. You might get an extra piece if you're lucky. Then one flick fire missile. One of these two by one pieces with a hole in the center. Two of these slanted vents. Two of those. One, two of these clip pieces that clip onto the other bar piece. And finally, two of these common 2 by one pieces. Two of those. Let's get on to building part two. Okay, so you're going to want to do this twice. Take this. And stick... Wait. That. On the back of it. It should look like this. Then take one of your studs and put it on the back of that. Oh. Sorry. I'm keep I keep dropping dropping the camera today. I'm so clumsy. I'm sorry about that. I am so sorry. Continuing. It should look like this now. Now take one of your clip pieces and stick it on there, like that. Take your other bar piece and put it on the bottom of that.
take your one by one and put it there. And then take this two by one and stick it there. And finally take this slanted piece and put it on the bottom of that. Then you're going to take your slanted vent and put it like that on it. And take this 2 by one and stick it on here. Once again, you're going to want to do that twice. Let's do that again. This here. That there. Stud here. Clip on back. This here. Vent there. And take your bar and put it here. Clip here. And finally, your two by one here. And your slant here. So I have made mine twice. Two of these perfectly good legs. Now, you are going to take this part and stick each of those holes onto one axle. You may have a little bit of difficulty, but it does go in. I have tested it. Stick one in each one. Like that. This should be your end result. Now, you have must have three pieces left by now. Here are your three pieces. Those and this. What you're going to want to do is take your flick fire and stick it in here so it looks like this. And then take your lightsaber hilt and put it on the end of that. And then on the bottom of this, stick that on there. And you, now you have a perfectly good functioning ATRT, All-Terrain Recon Transport. Let's try to stick a clone on it. This is Custom Commander Cody. And, as you see, he fits on there snugly. Wait, you don't see it yet, I'm sorry. I'm putting him on. His visor. He fits snugly in his little cockpit. There. That is the end result. The legs are poseable. Like that. Or like this. But yeah, this is my ATRT. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun building this. If you have any more ideas, post them in the comments below. And keep on building.